Clarendon Learning explores the digestive system. Machines. Machines are pretty cool. Take the V8 combustion engine, for example. When you combine pistons, gears, lubrication, petroleum gasoline, and the spark of ignition, you've got some vroom, 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 serious horsepower. You're going places, and fast. How about an electric power plant? Burning coal to boil water, which turns to steam, and using that steam to turn the turbine of a generator extremely fast produces electricity. Power to light up the night in cities around the world. Yes, machines are very cool. Your body is a machine. Your body is just like an engine. Fuel goes in and fuel turns into energy. Energy to move, to think, and to do things. This process happens through the miracle of human digestion. Naturally, we mean human digestion, right? We don't mean bovine digestion. That would be cows, of course. Cows have four chambers in their stomachs. And you don't. We're not talking about earthworm digestion. They eat dirt. Let's explore the ins and outs of human digestion. Who doesn't like pizza? Hot, melty cheese, pepperoni, saucy sauce. It makes my mouth water just thinking about it. How about you? Increased saliva in your mouth is the first step in digestion. Your olfactory senses are kicking in. That would be your sense of smell. You can smell that pizza pie and your brain is sending signals to your mouth. Prepare to receive food. Salivary glands secrete saliva, or maybe you want to call it spit. It fills your mouth and runs down the back of your throat, an area called the larynx. As saliva travels, it lubricates. It lubricates your mouth, your oropharynx, and lubricates down the esophagus, the muscular tube that connects to your stomach. Human digestion has begun. Now, take a bite. Delicious! Taste buds all over your tongue tell you, ah, just right. Grandma always said, chew your food 50 times. And she also said, don't talk with your mouth full. Well, Grandma was right. Chewing, or as scientists say, masticating, is another step in digestion. As you chew, saliva combines with the gooey food mixture to become bolus. And no chewing with your mouth open. No one wants to see that. Okay, enough chewing. You're hungry. Time to swallow. The bolus travels down your throat and down your esophagus. Your epiglottis, a flap that covers your windpipe while you swallow, prevents food from entering your lungs. Down through 10 inches of esophagus, the bolus finally reaches your stomach. Kerplunk? Yes, it's so satisfying. In the stomach is a cocktail of gastric juices made up of bile and hydrochloric acid and other acids. Bile is made in the liver and delivered to the stomach through the gallbladder. Hydrochloric acid is very powerful stuff and can even dissolve metal. Hey, no swallowing metal! Your stomach has a lining that protects it from these powerful juices. The liver also filters your blood from impurities and the liver also performs hundreds of other functions. The liver, one of the most important organs in your body. The gastric juices continue to break down the fats and proteins and carbohydrates in your food. And muscles in your stomach churn and roll its contents. And in a couple of hours, your slice of pizza is a mass of partly digested fluid and is now ready to enter the small intestine. The small intestine is where the magic happens and where most of the real digestion occurs. The pancreas, another organ of digestion, secretes insulin which controls your blood sugar levels into your small intestine. The digesting liquid, which by this time doesn't look like a slice of pizza at all, moves to 20 feet of small intestine by contracting action. Did I say 20 feet? Yes! 20 feet of small intestine, all neatly folded in your belly. And through this intestine, all nutrients and minerals and vitamins necessary to make your body grow and develop and give it energy are absorbed and carried through the bloodstream throughout your body. Wow, what a machine! By the time the digested material reaches the end of the small intestine, whatever is left is waste product. 
Okay, it's poop. And it goes from the small intestine and delivered into the large intestine, which is bigger than the small intestine, but a lot shorter, and it goes up and over and down through the colon and exits the body through the rectum and anus. Well, your slice of pizza pie sure had a wild ride through your digestive system. I think you enjoyed it. Pizza is great occasionally. However, to keep your body running like a finely tuned machine, it's a good idea to eat a lot of different things in all the basic food groups. And you know what I'm talking about. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.